I'm Miss Kara and this is Books Alive Book Talks for kids in grades kindergarten through second grade. I have a stack of books here that I'm going to share with you. Um, they're mostly picture books. I thought we'd take it kind of easy as we're getting back into the swing of school. Up first we have Little Green Donkey by Anushka Elpuz. Isn't he cute? So Little Green Donkey's favorite thing to eat in the whole wide world is grass. He loves grass. And his mama donkey tries to get him to try other foods and he says, no thank you, just grass for me. And one day he eats so much grass that, oh, you see what happens? He turned green, he's a green donkey. He doesn't wanna be a green donkey, he wants to be a donkey colored donkey. So he has to figure out what other foods he can eat to turn him back into a donkey colored donkey. And you will have to see if he gets turned back into a donkey colored donkey. This book is super funny. I love the illustrations. So that's Little Green Donkey by Anushka Alipus. Up next we have a beginner's graphic novel. It's called Pizza and Taco, Who's the Best? And Pizza and Taco are best friends. And they spend all their time together. And one day, Taco says to Pizza, you're the best. And Pizza says, I am the best. And Taco goes, no, you're supposed to say I'm the best. So then they go through this whole rigmarole to figure out who's the best, Pizza or Taco. And as a bonus, there are water slides in this book. So that's Pizza and Taco, Who's the Best? by Stephen Shaskan. All right, this next one, Going Up, written by Sherry J. Lee, illustrated by Charlene Chua. All right, so it takes place in an apartment building and at the very beginning, we see our invitation to somebody's birthday party on the 10th floor of the apartment building. So on the day of the party, a little girl and her dad make some cookies and they're getting ready to go up. She pushes the button. They must live on the first floor. And then every time they stop at a floor, more and more people get on until they're all packed tight in there. And then when they get up to the 10th floor, it opens up to the party. And I'm not gonna show it to you, but it looks like a really fun party. So that's Going Up by Sherry J. Lee and Charlene Chua. Up next, we have Sand Castle by Inat Safardi. And we start at the beach. Look at all these people on this beach. And our main character says, I love building castles in the sand. So I built a sand castle. But she doesn't build any old sand castle. Oh no, she builds the biggest fanciest sand castle you have ever seen in your entire life. And when you have a big fancy sand castle like this, it's only a matter of time before kings and queens and princes and princesses move on in. And they do. So, if you want to read about royalty in a sand castle, playing games, gardening, Having a good time. Look at all these amazing people. This book, and this book has a surprise ending. All right, this one is nonfiction. It is called Over and Under the Rainforest, and it's by Kate Messner. She has written a whole bunch of these over and under books. There's Over and Under the Snow, and Over and Under the Pond. Um, and they all sort of follow the same format. So here, we're going into the rainforest, we're going on a hike. Oh, do you see what I see? I just noticed it right there. 
There's a teeny tiny little lizard. Do you see that lizard? And this whole book is full of all kinds of really cool images. All right, so we're looking up and then we can look down. On every page, it's just a feast for the eyes with all different kinds of animals. This book is really fun. If you like animals, if you like to imagine that you're traveling to faraway places, this book is just beautiful. And then at the end, there is um, a little glossary with all the animals in it. So if you want to read more about the animals that are in the book, you can do that because there's like so much information at the back of the book that she couldn't include in the story. So that's Over and Under the Rainforest by Kate Messner. And then our last book, I saved this one for last because I think it does some really interesting things. It's called Lift. And it was written by Min Lee and it's illustrated by Dan Santat. So if you read Beagle, the Unimaginary Friend, that's the same guy. So it might be why this style looks a little familiar to you. So in this book, we have a family it's a mom, a dad, a little girl, and her little brother. And every day, it's her job to push the buttons on the elevator. Until one day, her brother pushes the button. How do you think she feels about that? Not too happy, I would guess. And it goes like that over and over and over again. And then... There's the elevator repairman, and he throws something into a bucket, and oh, it's an elevator button. So she takes that elevator button up to her room, and she tapes it on the wall, and when she pushes it, something amazing happens. Look at her face. She can't believe her eyes. Do you want to see what she could see? Do you want to see? What would you do if your wall opened up and that was on the other side? My goodness. And the fun thing about it is that every time she pushes the button, there's something new behind that wall. So this book is called Lift. It's by Min Lee and Dan Santat. Those are all the books I have for you today. I'll be doing this uh, every month, so I hope that you'll check back in next time. If you have a favorite book that you have just read and you want to share it with me, please let me know. And um, we'll see you later. Have a good day. Bye.